Hi everyone, welcome to New England Gardening. This is the residue from Tanglefoot. It's a non-drying, sticky compound that you apply to the tree to create a barrier to prevent ants and insects from crawling up the trunk and into the tree. And the ants in particular will farm aphids and spread them around and spread out, spread out the diseases. This is the incorrect way to do it. You're not supposed to apply it directly to the trunk. Uh, there is a correct way or recommended way. And uh, I have a citrus tree that ants are crawling up the trunk and seem to be farming or eating some of the uh, citrus flowers or buds on the tree. So I want to properly apply some tanglefoot to prevent them from crawling up the tree. So let's get started on that. This is the citrus tree with the ant problem. It's not those black ants. Surprisingly, it's those small ants that create those little uh, sand hills. And even though I move this, I've been moving this pot and disrupting the ants, they seem to keep on finding it and creating this little path they put down their scent. Uh, but I was surprised to see, I think they're actually in the pot. And this is the the tree that has the problem. I don't know if that's uh, frost damage or if it's a fungus. I'm going to get some of that diatomaceous earth and uh, spread that around and uh, have some uh, fungicide powder. I'm going to spray that uh, in that location too. But uh, the ants, I, I know I've hosed this off several times and they seem to be just going to this one cluster of flowers and uh, it almost looks like they're chewing on them. I don't see any aphids. So you can see here they're on this little cluster of flowers doing what ants do. So I want to prevent them from being able to crawl up the bark and into the tree. And the tangle foot will prevent that, if applied properly. So you can see the ants there around the base of the trunk. And it looks like they actually have a, a hole that they're coming out of. So I think the diatomaceous earth will kill them. So I'm going to order some of that. I see Amazon has like a 10 pound bag for $18. That's probably enough for a lifetime for me. So I'll give that a try. But for now, I want to prevent them from getting up into the tree. So I'm going to apply some Tanglefoot. So if you're not familiar with the product, this is Tanglefoot. That's what it looks like. And it's this sticky substance that insects don't like to or can't crawl over. So instead of applying it directly to the trunk, which again you're not supposed to do, you use this tangle guard, this banding material, which is also used to prevent the trunks from getting bruised or chewed on. And so you wrap, you wrap the trunk uh, with some of this and I'm going to use some of this painter's masking tape and then underneath because you because the ant, the ants in particular these smaller ones can, can probably easily get between the bark and the spandy material you pack some cotton underneath uh, try to uh, create a barrier that they won't be able to uh, get across so let me apply this and hopefully prevent the ants from crawling up the trunk and into the tree so it's not a very big trunk, it's maybe an inch in diameter. Uh, so I'll wrap this around here. And I have to put some of that cotton underneath there, pack it underneath. So I need to, oh, that's sort of easy, that unwraps. Now, my only concern is if this stays wet, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So I'll put some of this under here. Just need to have that on the bottom portion, I would think. And I, now that I think about it, I don't want it too low because I don't want it constantly wicking moisture from the soil. 
So I don't know if I need more here. this and then tape it And now apply the tangle foot. That'll create a nice barrier for any insects. Make sure to get it completely around. So I've got the tangle foot applied and hopefully that'll prevent the ants from getting into the tree. This is New England Gardening on the recommended application of tangle foot. Thanks for watching.